Now let's turn our attention to trade spoon picks. We know we have a premium pick and we have an elite pick which comes out once every week. And first pick we would like to go over is uh, Transocean. This is part of our trade spoon premium service where we provide recommendation once every day. And Rick has been underperformer for the past 52 weeks. It missed earnings analyst estimates for the past three earnings seasons and it has grinded to the downside for the past three quarters. So we recommended to go short on Transocean and oil sector has been in a downtrend for the past several months and as oil prices hovers between 75 and 80 level it's very important to see if there will be a late year rally in the oil sector. So Joe what do you see in the... You know one thing that I noticed right away when you were coming walking through this uh, and this is one that you came out with over the weekend uh, the volatility change has been enormous. In other words, you see that vol has spiked. Oil has been under a lot of pressure. It's firmed up at these levels, even though, and because it's pulled back so much. They're forecasting, you've seen forecasts out for 2015 as far as crude prices around $75. So it's going to be between the $75 and $80 mark. And really the weather, as well as the travel seasons, are going to dictate how much further uh, this could go up or down or how much more volatile. But this one has some volatility. Taking a look at the entry levels right now, you see that the stock was just down. I had that up a second ago. As a matter of fact, stock right now is down about 31 cents at 29.40. Taking a look at the stock trade, um, this is where you're going to have to manage it tight. Uh, this is where taking that estimated move of three dollars and ninety cents, uh, you see your uh, target gain and max loss. Make sure that you're abiding by those. And as a matter of fact, with this vol change, I do not have a problem where um, you could probably look at maybe. Uh, either selling some downside puts just to take in some premium. Yeah, it's going to add a little bit more capital exposure here, but if rig starts to go to the upside, it cushions some of that move to the upside if there is some upside pressure. But right now we're not seeing that. So stock traders, stick with your uh, target maximum target loss. For the options trader, this is where I would probably look at the spread trade. I would look at the spread trade because of the fact that the single leg it's very expensive because of that vol expectation. There is the potential for very violent moves, so we're, we want to keep an eye on that. Taking a look at the credit call spread that you put out there, if you don't want to sell the stock naked, that's a great opportunity to look at that credit call spread. It's a $2 credit uh, spread that you're receiving a buck fifteen, so you know what your potential profit is right off the bat. Your risk is the $2 minus the buck fifteen, so you got $0.85 cents of risk. I like the risk reward. You're getting paid through the vol, and the return on capital and the probability of success is right around 66%, which I really like. And last but not least, going down here, uh, make sure that you take a very keen eye. 1110. We earnings have earnings. Sense. So we have earnings. So the bottom line is keep an eye on that if you're in this trade. If you're looking to get into it, I'm going to assume that this is after hours. Um, so, you know, again, Keep an, uh, an eye out on that and always keep an eye out on the probability analysis here. Thank you for your insight. And now let's turn our attention to Elite Pick, where we provide one recommendation every week. And this week we provided a recommendation on Lexmark, ticker symbol LXK, which has been trading to the upsides ever since the earnings announcement and volatility has subsided. So we are long on the technology sector. We are looking at the computers. We are looking at the microchips. And these are the sectors that we think, based on seasonality and based on the earnings momentum, are grinding to the upside. Joe, what do you see in Lexmark in terms of how we can take advantage of our long-term conviction on you, the stock? You know what, Vlad? This is very interesting here. Uh, just taking a look at the price action, it's up about $0.03 cents today. Just taking a look at the pick right now. I agree with you from the perspective that tech is... Uh, back on the burner. It is one of those leadership names. We want to see if it gets some conviction to the upside. The Q's, which is the QQQ's, which is the proxy for the NASDAQ 100 on the ETF side. Taking a look at Lexmart, the one thing that I would say is you're probably look at the, the call spread. The stock has uh, come off and off of its bottom. Uh, it looks almost like more like a V-shaped recovery, which is something that allows itself to have some potential volatility. Uh, as you had noted, it already has come off with earnings, but you can see that it's been consolidating still in this area, but it's above these short-term moving averages. 
What I would suggest is probably taking a look at the call spread if you haven't already gotten in the position. If you bought the long 41 calls, take the opportunity to sell something against it. It's still just grinding along here. There still isn't a ton of conviction to the upside. Uh, that's where I would definitely keep an eye on. And always take a look at the key stock events. I think it's going to be very helpful. This is the probability analysis with it only having about a 4% probability of being above 49, which is get basically giving you about only a 20% probability of being above 45, selling the $43 calls against what you own, whether it's the stock or whether it's the outright option, I think that's the play right now, um, you know, as far as uh, how I would approach it right now. That makes sense. So again, thank you for being part of Tradespoon Live TV. We do have educational series. Every week, Joe and myself have different webinars. Joe has a webinar on Wednesday at 12 o'clock. So if you go to Tradespoon site and you go upcoming webinars, you can see under two, my tools, upcoming webinars, you can see Joe's webinar and my webinar. We also have a library for the past two years. We've been recording webinars on a weekly basis. And if you go to training video library, you can see our weekly videos.